Hello everyone, Berserk here, and uh, welcome to episode 1 of this uh, new campaign that I wanted to do for Crusader Kings 2. I haven't done a campaign ever since the uh, Reaper's 2 DLC came out. So um, I wanted to, you know, start a new campaign, and I've been thinking about uh, doing a Bulgaria campaign, because I don't think I've, I've done that on the, on the channel. Um, and uh, since, uh, you know, a couple months back, I did a documentary about the Fourth Crusade and the Latin Empire and uh, the Battle of Adrianople and all that. I decided that uh, it might be a good idea to um, uh, play in the same time period. Uh, it's the um, Latin Empire mark. Uh, and as you can see, we have the, the, the Latin Empire. It's, I think, right after the sack of Constantinople. Uh, you can see the Byzantine Empire being uh, split in different successor kingdoms. Um, and yeah, we're gonna play as uh, King Kalyan of, of uh, Bulgaria and um, hopefully in this scenario we're gonna uh, try and see what would have happened if uh, Kalyan wasn't assassinated because that's um, what happened in real life. He started, um, you know, doing pretty well against the Lydans. He won the Battle of Adrianople. He won a few more ambushes and uh, then later on uh, he was assassinated or uh, he, he died. It's, it's, it's just a speculation that he was assassinated. but. Yeah, uh, I think that it's interesting. We're gonna try to fight the, the Lightning Bar. I'm using a, a couple mods. One of them uh, makes the borders clearer, and the other one is a portrait mod. Uh, we're not doing any any achievements, uh, so I figured I might use a, the might as well use the the portrait mod because the portraits, in my opinion, look a lot better. Now. Um, I don't know what I uh, what I want to do with those things. I guess we're just gonna do historical epidemics. We're gonna do historical Mongol invasion. I mean, we're not too far away from the um, from the Black Death. Uh, it's 150 years. Well, I guess we are, but um, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. We're just gonna keep it uh, historical. We're gonna keep those things in default. And uh, yeah, let's start the game. I really love the the Reaper's Due DLC. I I uh, had the chance to, to play it um, for a little bit, and uh, I really like it. I mean, it's it's just fun. Uh, that's why I like it. It just it, it just adds more fun events in the game. I mean, plus like pretty much all the characters would just die of like natural death, like you know. And uh, now there's so many more things that your character can die off of. It's like there's cancer, there are epidemics, there is complications with different diseases. I I, I love it. I really like the the Reaper's Due DLC, and I think it was received really well overall um, by by everyone. Uh, I don't really have any sort of criticisms towards it. And I think it's just a great DLC. Now, first thing I notice is that this guy is a pagan. He's a Tian Greek human. Now, can I demand a religious conversion? He doesn't like me. Um, can we revoke his title on the basis? Nope, we cannot. Now, I don't like that. Uh, we're Orthodox. Um, so we would like... Well, th this territory is Orthodox. But uh, the ruler is Tangri, meaning that overall, like over time, um, he's going to be able to convert it to Tangriism. Which I don't like. And um, actually, if he dies... I am the one who's gonna inherit, so um, I guess we have a reason to assassinate him. Plus, um, let's see how much territory I have. Uh, quite a lot, actually. Wow, uh, that is pretty much the whole kingdom, isn't it? Nope, not, not empires. Uh, not the whole kingdom, but um, I have this duchy here, all of it, and uh, most of this duchy as well. Okay, cool. This guy is the Duke of Moesia, which is these two provinces. I don't have any of them. Uh, how many duchies do I have? I have two. I have this one. So the de jure. Um, and I have this one too. I control all of that. And someone else controls part of this one. Wait, let me, let me check again. Uh... Let's see. So, the wait that that's weird. That doesn't like. This guy has this duchy here, right? Oh, okay, okay. I get, I get it now. I get it. And I have this one, which is oh, it's it, it, it's 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 just a county, right? Okay, cool. Well, I would like to get this duchy because this guy is not gonna like me because he has the duchy. He desires a bunch of counties, which is uh, never a good thing. Um, 
so yeah, we, we, we are gonna have a few internal problems. The country is not very stable. I want to see how powerful the Latin Empire is as well. Now they have 15k. Uh, some of them are gonna be event spawn. Yep, 10,000. Uh, we're not quite as strong, but uh, let's see if we have the Cumans. Uh, we don't have them as an ally, but um, we have a non-aggression pact. So let's go to my council. I kind of want to improve. Wow, this guy's horrible. We, we have a guy with 20 diplomacy. I mean, I'm gonna piss him off. I don't care. This guy's gonna die either way. So, yeah, let's send him to the Cuman Cannon. Try to improve relations. Get an alliance with the Cumans, hopefully. Uh, we just have a non aggression pact. My wife is Cuman. Uh, she's actually a convert. She's uh, Orthodox. But she is the daughter of. No, she is the sister. Uh, well, historically, uh, he is she should have been the daughter of the Cuman Khan. Oh, well, that's fine. So, um, cool. Uh, there's so many things that I gotta do. So, first off, I'm gonna recruit a court physician. Let me invite people to the plot, see if I can sway anyone. 15%, that's good. I can definitely. S oh, wow, that's a lot of money. Let's see if there's uh, anyone who's cheaper. Sky, 24, 42 for just 10, I don't like that, 12 for 46, I don't want to spend my, mo oh wow, okay, well, uh, I think this guy gives me my, like, the best bang for my buck, so I'm gonna do that, and I guess I'm gonna invite one more, like, let's do that guy, I don't want to spend too much money, but I really want to kill this guy, so, let's do that. Uh, let's go waiting uh, for a court position. Uh, pick an ambition. Let's see, interesting. So, I don't have an heir right now. I only have two daughters, so we might do groom and heir. I want to see what the succession is. It's agnatic, cognatic, gable kind, which is uh, the, the worst possible one. Um, we can change it to primogenitor eventually, but I'm going to have... Um, all my vassals would have to like me. Yeah, one of these must be true. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to pass quite a few laws. Okay, um, I would like to... Okay, I would like to pass this one first. Uh, the council, they cannot vote on it. Oh wow, they, they don't actually have any sort of power. That is really cool, I like that. So let's pick an ambition. Um, I will groom an heir. Hopefully I will rule for 10 years and I'm going to be able to change the law. Or should I? Should I do build a war chester? Well, let's do... Let's do that one. Whatever. And uh, I don't want to do the prosperity one because uh, we are going to be going to war. We're going to be fighting the Latins eventually. Uh, first of all, I'd like to solve my internal issues. I'm gonna do. We're gonna do hunting. Oh wow, I'm envious and gluttonous. Interesting as well. Okay. Set uh, crown focus in the capital. Uh, we have two children to educate. I know I've been taking too long with this, but you know, it's it's, it's a new campaign. I've never played this one before. I've done, I think, three campaigns as as Bulgaria, but um, oh, that's Boral. No, it's not Boral. Who's Boral? Should be... Should be in my, in my dynasty, like uh, the guy who actually inherited. Wait, where's my uh, my dynasty? There we go. Yeah, there he is. He is the guy that actually... Oh, it's that guy. He's uh, like the Duke of um, Riot. Well, we should get rid of that guy. We really should. I don't like him. Uh, he's the guy who actually historically... Um, Inherited the kingdom and uh, he's the one who was rumored to have you know assassinated the czar uh, So we just got to do that And uh, what can I pause? Okay, we're gonna go triple speed right now uh, Designated regent. Uh, I don't want to do him like I don't I don't I don't want him to be my regent We get a Bulgarian Orthodox blinded mystic Uh do you have anyone who's actually better right now? Do I have a mastermind theologian? 
He's got 22 learning. So he's better. No. I'm gonna take that guy. And uh, my region would be... I don't know. There's another Boral. Um, interesting. Wow, they're starting a new crusade. Okay. Wow. Uh, so right after the 4th crusade and its failure, they're just starting a new crusade. Uh, Emperor Baldwin. I don't know why he's French. He's supposed to be Flemish. I'm pretty sure that's a culture in the game. Like Dutch. Flemish. Yeah, because uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't French. It was, uh, it was like, um, Flemish. Or Dutch. But I think it's Flemish. Anyways. One more child. We have, uh, my nephew here. Let's give him, uh, yeah. Oh well, I should have done uh, learning, but whatever. Okay. I actually have some claims. I have a claim on this one. I have a claim on Adrianople. I have a claim on this one too. So, all this, is it part of a duchy at all? Um, it is. The duchy of Adrian Adrianopolis. Which is, it's hard to tell, like, their colors are, like, so similar. It's only those two, though. And this one is, like, the, uh, whatever duchy that is. Doesn't actually have any duchies. Wow, that's weird. But, yeah, we're gonna have to fight the Lightens. Right now, they're more powerful than we are, which is not good. I don't like that, but, um, oh, wow. Not by much, actually. Now, I really want to get rid of this guy. I don't like him. Um, what can I do about it? I First off, I want to kill this guy. Because he's a pagan. I don't have religious uh, revocation at this point. So, can't do much. I want to pass this one too. Oh, I need legalism at level 3. Which it is. So, that that's cool. I... I think I gotta have the late one in order to change to uh, primogenitor. I think late feudal administration. Yep. Yeah, that that'll that'll do the job. And I gotta have a uh, high crown authority as well, which is where's that? Is it the centralization? Like, it, it's not in the game anymore. Like, it, it used to be a thing, but uh, I think they removed that with, like, Conclave. Oh, well, whatever. Well, let's uh, let's keep going. My wife, she does she like me? She doesn't actually like me too much, because I'm gluttonous. Okay, well, um... Let's not spend too much. Let's just spend five gold. It's gonna be a zero now. Alright. Can I get, like, a better beard? Yep. No, the haircut was fine. Just didn't like the beard. So, um, that's my nephew. I don't care about him. I care about my haircut more, apparently. Was it that one? Nope. Let's do. Well, let's do that one. Cool. I like that better. Okay. Uh, two daughters. We can definitely marry them off to someone. Uh, later on, it's interesting. Like, let's see, let's see who I, whom I can ally. Um, Hungary is uh, one uh, pretender. I guess we can do that. Uh, let's try and see if it's gonna work. Um, I, I'm planning on having a like a male heir, hopefully. But, uh, just for the sake of safety, let's just do my other daughter. I'm gonna use her, and hopefully it's gonna give me an alliance as well. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Alliance? Uh, yep, cool. So we have Hungary as our ally. That's good, because Hungary is strong. I'm actually stronger, but, you know, it's good. Can we declare war on Serbia? Serbia is very weak. Oh, you know what? The Cumans are kind of a lost cause, so I'm much better off. I thought I sent that guy. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna fabricate a claim on Serbia. I'm gonna train some troops in the capital. 
course to do all the things. Do when oh there is uh what's that? Uh oh they're the boulder mills. Cool. Well, gotta convert them. Uh revolver risk, where's that? Oh, because he was trying to collect Texas. Wow, he he failed that really quickly. He's only got nine. These are all powerful vassals. Oh, he's got zero. Are you kidding me? No, screw that guy. Really? Wow. Well, my vassals really suck, so I'm gonna have to piss them off a little bit. Yeah. Oh well. What can you do? I really want to assassinate this guy so I can assassinate my um, nephew. I really hate him. He's got a near too. His uh, his brother. Right. Yep. Okay. There's a hunting dog. That's good. We need that. I'm I'm trusting, which is not good. But I've got 11 intrigue, so hopefully I'm not getting assassinated. But um, I really I, I know this guy's planning to kill me. I am pretty sure about it. He will at one point. So. I would like to find a reason to like imprison him, take his titles, and do all that stuff. Um, well, okay, I think that's gonna be it for this uh, for this episode. Um, of course, we're gonna continue. We're gonna fight the uh, the Latin Empire eventually. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be an interesting campaign. Uh, we gotta stabilize the country first, so there's gonna be a lot of intrigue going on. At first, we're gonna try to assassinate a couple of people, and uh, yeah. Well, uh, that's gonna be it. And um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.